Albert Einstein once said, "A table, a chair, a bowl of fruits, and a violin. What else does a man need to be happy?" While his words ring true, adding guitar to this pleasant mix may prove to be indeed more indulgent. On June 14th, the pleasant combination of guitar and violin could be found in the Chinese National Center for the Performing Arts. Two world-renowned maestros, Chinese violinist Liu Cixin and Spanish guitarist Pepe Romero, wound an exquisite dialogue between the two stringed instruments. Sound, of course, is、uh, is going to be different because guitar is plugging instrument and、uh, the violin is you play with the bow. The violin brings a brilliance and the guitar gives a warmth. It can be happy, it can be sad. I was a little bit, you know, not nervous but uncertain, you know, before our first rehearsal. Li Cixin, known as the first Chinese musician to win the prestigious Paganini Violin Competition, once astonished the world with his impeccable interpretation of the Chinese Violin Concerto, Butterfly Lovers. And Pepe Romero, who has dedicated his life to the field of classical guitar, has inspired a number of distinguished composers to write works specifically for him. This was the first time that these two top-tier musicians had performed together. At this performance, the audience was treated to a choice selection of works, most of them Spanish in origin. The Spanish,、uh, you know, popular songs, I know them pretty well because I played it in concerts many times with piano. So that's about the only piece I I know <laughs>、uh, from these concerts. All other pieces actually are picked by yeah Maestro Romero. So I actually told before we rehearsed, you know, I said I need a lot of you know. Advice, inputs from you regarding the style, the character. For him, this is like the Butterfly Lovers Concerto for me. <laughs> so you know, he's the authority. Pairing the guitar with a violin is not a new idea. In fact, many different forms of crossover music are common nowadays. The violin often collaborates with cellos or pianos, and even has the potential to work well with traditional Chinese instruments. However, due to its high-pitched timbre, the violin conveys a sense of musical dominance, forcing its partner instrument into a more complementary role. I have many, many、uh, good friends who are great pianists. I always say to them, when we perform together, they're at a disadvantage because people will call them a accompanist and call me a soloist. <laughs> But with piano,、uh, I mean with the guitar. So I think this time there was some difference. They have much liberty in doing the chords, and also、uh, when they do the chords, they can have all these、uh, free interpretations, you know. And、uh, for violin, I think. The main thing, actually, is our melodic line, our singing quality, to complement with the guitar. Great concerts are explosions of expression. The shock waves, however, inflict no pain, only a sense of astonishment and awe. 
Such a description aptly describes Liu and Pei Pei's show. Their performance, handled with hearts full of love, left listeners captive to the spell of their music. <laughs>